Hello, in this video I will show the functionalities of the MF Scan utility for Canon laser multifunctional devices. I use the Canon MF754 CDW in this video. The software can be used for many other MF models. There is setup disk out of the box, but I will download from the official download page. The latest drivers are available. For this model you can use PostScript or PCL or Canon UFR driver. There are more versions available. Let me scroll down to see more downloads. On the software tab you find MF Scan Utility for scanning. There is also send function setting tool, but send to email and send to folder functionality I have covered in the video of the other MF model, which I recommend to check in the upper right corner for more details. For this installation I download the following MF drivers, including print, fax, and scan driver. Next I install the drivers for my MF device, which has been already connected to the network. And you can find the complete set of video of this model in the upper right corner. The setup has found my network printer and as my model is MF754CDW it also has fax function so you can install fax driver to fax directly from the PC. For printing I install Canon UFR driver which is the most recommended for this device. The installation may take longer than shown in the video. Finally, I print the test page and my installation has been finished. Let's have a quick look into UFR driver. It is common UFR driver which can be used for several laser printers. There are more tabs you can find in the UFR driver. You find basic setup tab, page setup tab with paper source, I have covered and demonstrated features of this driver in the video about LBP printer and you can check that video for more detailed information and demonstration of printing. Secure print is possible, also from mobile device, which I put on the screen and I have already used in the setup video about this model. In the next part I cover the MF Scan Utility, which is the software for scanning. MF Scan Utility can be installed from the software download page or via installing from the master installer. The software can be used for many other MF models. 
let's have a closer look into the scan utility. In the settings, you can preset different scan modes. For example, let's take custom scan, where I preset some scan settings. In the application settings, select which application opens the file. There you can also scan to cloud, to folder or use optical character recognition, but there is separate mode for OCR only. The scan modes for push scan from the device can be preset as well. Let's preset one of the modes to scan from the scan menu. Settings are complete. Here is a quick look to the first tab where I leave everything by default. Let me scan two-sided originals using one pass to sided automatic document feeder. In this case, I start scanning from MF Scan Utility on the PC. The result is the searchable PDF file. Now I can edit and copy the text. In the next demonstration I scan from the device. Let's scan from the platen. Follow the next steps. Here are the four scan modes you can preset from the MF Scan Utility. Let's start scanning. I could scan the next page from the platen or just finish scan job. The result is similar as before, a searchable PDF. Let me use now OCR, using the same original, but I scan from MF Scan Utility. The document is being recognized and finally it opens in Notepad as text file. This time only text was extracted out of the document. There are more functions of the scan software. Stitch Assist is a tool to help you scan bigger than A4 size originals. This works the same way as on LIDA series scanners. Finally, for advanced users, there is a Scan Gear Train Driver with basic and advanced mode. Let's make a preview. Then I switch to advanced mode and show more settings. Only in Scan Gear Advanced mode the resolution can be set to 1200 dpi and even higher if you enter the number manually. There are more settings available and I just demonstrate in the fast forward mode to show the possibilities. Finally, I scan with my settings, this time scan to JPEG format. And that would be all in this video.
Find more about printers in the playlist on my channel. Feel free to comment, ask questions and don't forget to subscribe as it helps me to grow my channel and create more videos like this. Thank you for watching and sharing and please like the video. Bye!